Hello my friends and welcome back. No, this is one of my favorite t-shirts. The ones that um, there's a little company online, a clothing company that I bought from. They do some nice t-shirts. Look how it looks like in the light, like it's it's a cross that is burning and I'm wearing it. Beautiful indeed. Now uh, I want to share something with you that uh, became a super mega viral. If you wonder what exactly I want to share, well, uh, it's this 14-year-old uh, sweetheart, a little girl. I have a 12, nearly 13-year-old girl. Uh, I love my child to bits and I can see the same personality in this child like in my own powerful. Powerful personality, a woman that uh, will be there for her man one day, not hiding but fighting side by side uh, against the hardships of life, not allowing her man to be all alone there in the front line, but together because a family is, what else? What is a family? Well, it's a team, a family, it's a... Uh, that perfect union that God uh, put together and the devil is messing up with of course that's the, the job of uh, the devil but us well us we are there to show that the devil that he is not in charge <laughs> that he is gonna lose because we fight the good battle side by side with Jesus Jesus is fighting for us and we are the ones on our knees so this 14 14 the battle belongs to the Lord, you only need to be still. So this awesome 14 year old girl, she is from a Chippewa Valley School, Chippewa Valley School, Michigan, Michigan. And uh, she, she is passing down the, the school board, uh, <laughs> some forms to fill out regarding how uh, the meetings with concerned parents hurt their feeling so uh, let's see let's see this little video because it's hilarious and she deserves us to listen to her the music is from Cal Casey white butter with your as usual friends go to his YouTube channel bless him with your presence listen to his music anyone can enjoy his music you don't need to be I don't know what whatever you are Christian, Muslim, whatever you are, you can go to his channel and you can click that uh, subscribe button and listen to this awesome music called KC White But Audio. So, let's minimize this a little and let's listen to this sweet little girl. So smart. I, I bet she has good parents. <laughs> oh. That's it with the music and now let's go to this video and we're gonna listen the, the video is 3 minutes 58 but we will listen to every little second out of this video so 3 and 2 and 1 go no, no, excuse me we're gonna hand back to you oh let her go please let her go ask your lawyer I don't think we're running the meetings sir no, but ask your lawyer. Are you afraid? It's not going to hurt anything. Are you intimidated yeah. by a child? Yes, yes. Are you afraid? Ask your lawyer. 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 Ask At the end of the last board meeting, a few of you board members were triggered by the facts and truth my mom, myself, and a few of the other commenters spoke about. I did a bit of digging online, and I discovered a way to follow up on the airing of your grievances regarding the public speakers at these meetings. It is called the Hurt Feelings Report. At the end, you'll see that there's a place for your name, date your feelings were hurt, name a person who hurt your feelings, and which feelings were hurt. 
There's also a part to document your injury, such as which ear were the hurtful words spoken into? Is there permanent damage to your feelings? Did you require a tissue for your tears? And if the words resulted in a traumatic brain injury? Part four of this report is important for you to know. You can mark all the reasons you fill in the report. Some of the reasons are as follows. I am thin-skinned. My feelings are easily hurt. I didn't sign up for this. I was told that I am not a hero. I was offered, I was not offered a tissue. I want my mommy and other options. Again, you can check all that apply to your hurt feelings. There's additional space for you to explain more in depth on how your feelings were hurt. The bottom of the form reference is the department. The department refers to the parent attendees of these meetings. The statement on the bottom of the report reads as follows. We, as the department, take her, very, take her feelings very seriously. If you don't have someone who can give you a hug or make things all better, Please let us know, and we will promptly dispatch a hugger to you as soon as possible. In the event a hugger cannot be found, an EMS team will be dispatched. If you are in need of supplemental support upon written request, we will make every reasonable effort to provide you with a blankie, binky, or a bottle if you so desire. Remember to sign the form and you can present it to all the parents at the next meeting since they are the people responsible for voting you onto the board. They are your bosses and will determine if your grievances are legitimate and if actions should be taken. I'm sure that they will be as attentive to your complaints as you can to theirs. Please feel free to make copies of this blank form so you can file hurt feeling reports in the future, when you feel any of the public speakers at these meetings are a violation of their personal rights. Thank you. Really? She was awesome. She was absolutely awesome. Good job to the parents. And then, um, with grace of God, only by His grace, my kids uh, will be exactly the same. We have to raise children that they know what they have to do, they are courageous, they are strong and most important, godly. God needs to be the center of our life and the life of our children. Actually, even more than that, God has to be our very life in this crazy world. But again, I say what I have to say every single time. The answer is taking our kids from public schools. Public schools are not the place to be for our children. Whoever wants to go there, okay. But us as Christians, we should homeschool them or I don't know, private Christian school. Or... There are other options. If the public schools, is in America mostly, because where I am, we don't have this problem with the public schools, not yet. Oh, if the schools, the public schools are this way, with all the school board members, all of them having an agenda not to educate your child, they are interested in doing something else. Well, then, by all means, you know what you need to do. Anyway, the statistics say that the number of uh, Americans, because now we speak about America, as this happened in Michigan, the number of Americans sending their kids to public schools decreased dramatically, so people are getting in, which is good. That's the video, that's the music again on Carl Casey White Pat Audio. Thank you so much for listening. And up to next time, I always say stay close to Jesus. If you want to survive this madness, literally madness that surrounds us every day, we need God, friend. We need God. This cross in your heart, not around our neck only or a word and a t-shirt. See you soon, friends.